Hi friends, it is your last day of math this week and we're practicing adding and subtracting tens. So um, you have six problems to get through with me today and then you will be done and you can go on and take your quiz. So it starts out with number one, which says 60 paper clips, 50 are in a box. How many are not in the box? That means we need to find the difference. So we're subtracting. They have six groups of tens up here. You're gonna cross out five. One, two, three, four, five. So there is one left, which is 10. That means there are 10 that are not in the box. Number two, 30 footballs and 30 fat basketballs. How many balls in all? Well, three plus three is six. It is 60. Three tens plus three tens equals six tens. So you have 60 balls. Number three, find 80 minus 20. 80 minus 20, yeah. So you could flip it and turn it into addition because you can use addition to help you. So addition always ends with the biggest number. So we're gonna put 80 at the bottom and the next one we know is 20 plus blank equals 80. The book made it even easier and said two tens plus blank tens equals eight tens. Hmm, you can count on if you don't know. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's six. So the answer is 60. Number four, 60 juice boxes. 60 are cold. How many are not cold? So that's a trick question. It's giving you number four and it says 60 are cold. Uh, or 60 juice boxes, 60 are cold. How many are not cold? So it's 60 minus 60, which is zero. If I had 60 juice boxes and um, all of them are cold, then there are zero that are not cold. Number five, 40 green markers, 40 black markers. How many markers in all? In all is your word clue that we are adding. So we're going to say we have four tens here plus four tens here. Well, four plus four is eight. So 40 plus 40 must equal 80. Pretty cool. All right, number six. These are the ones with boom and buzz. I love these ones. Boom says he can use one plus blank equals five to find 50 minus 10. Do you agree why or why not? Um, hopefully you can see that these are the same numbers and so you absolutely can. You could just turn this into five minus one equals blank. It's a subtraction or it could be five minus blank equals one. This one would be the same thing if we flip it, it's 10 plus blank equals 50. See how these are super similar right here? And these are super similar here. Excuse me, so yes, you can. Yes, you can. And what you can do is you can just know that one has a zero and one does not. So if I have um, five minus one, I know is four. So 50 minus 10 is 40. So then this other number must be four. So yeah, you can. If he had done like one plus blank equals five, we'll help him solve 60 minus blank equals 100 or 10, then that wouldn't work. They're totally different numbers, but these are really similar. So yes, he can um, because they're either tens or these are, ten, um, sorry, numbers of 10 and these are just the tens. Okay, so you are all done with math for the week. Good luck on your test. I think this week is really fun and I hope you guys agree. I'll see you later, bye.